Oh, recent flooding has caused more than $7 million of road damage across Hidalgo, Hidalgo County, but so far most of the fixes are just temporary. Action Force Brett Crandall shows us some of the road damage and when we can expect the streets to be rebuilt. Standing water did a lot more than merely create potholes in these neighborhood streets. It completely tore them up, but fortunately the county now beginning to level them out. They got bad over here. There was a, a huge potholes. I mean, very, very, very wide and big, deep. Eric Sanchez is happy to see Hidalgo County Precinct 4 workers repair his neighborhood street after it was torn up from floodwaters last month. There was no way I could I could pull out of my driveway. I had to be parked inside for, for weeks. Trey Drive is just one of 84 roads across the county that FEMA has approved to restore. But before that happens, road crews are making temporary fixes. Uh, we've been filling in potholes in areas we've been bringing millings that have been donated by TxDOT just to make the roads drivable at this point in time. Hidalgo County Precinct 4 Commissioner Joseph Palacio says more than half of the 84 roads will need full reconstruction. This section of Trenton Road in front of the neighborhood has turned to merely gravel. Oh, I know that people are very anxious to get these projects finished, all these roadways up, back up, at least to the, its original state. Uh, we are very empathetic to that. that isn't why, that's why we, can, we started the recovery process already by repairing some of those roads. Until the roads undergo a more permanent fix, Palacios asks residents for their patience. Commissioner Palacios tells me that the county is on track to restore all damaged roads like this one within just six months. In Hidalgo County, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News. The county will submit the paperwork to begin construction on FEMA-funded road projects tomorrow.